Ax. Black is actually getting some shots in on the skanks here. And uh oh, I look away for a moment. They're making it go into Kaiser and they get the kill. Way two finds his opportunity to move on in there with the help of Bulba and that DD rune. And they get Storm Spirit deck. I found out Koikva. Puts him to the low ground. He's in trouble. He eats a couple of raises. He's dead. Leech Seed is going to be there. Boom! Come on, one more? No, oh, it doesn't matter. It's going to be an easy kill. The rest of the Leech Seed is going to help finish him off. And unfortunately, uh, he's in the wrong area. Now, here comes Spartan. A little late now, buddy. But he's happy to try to make something happen. Maybe here with Kaiser. And he's got that haste rune. So, one more club. Oh, they got it. They got the kill with a little bit of a burn. And no, he does hand over his own life. It is Kaiser who gets that kill onto Koikva. A little bit of redemption from earlier. Oh, black in trouble here. Or into the ignite, okay. Likes the more reliable damage up for you know up first. All right, convenient multi. Bull lightning gonna be there with a vortex pull. He needs the help, but he can't get it. The death requiem that could help take down the storm spirit, and it will be. Can they make it a two for? They can. They'll get Spartan down, and it's a double kill for the tree. Way two is gonna grab both of those, and it's a worthy trade for Team Tinker when it's all said and done. Rotations come out and. They do strike Dyer's back. bottom tower is under attack. Going away, getting some damage in on this tier one, which is actually going to be in denier range here. Fortunately for him. Oh, he crosses past with Koikva, pulls out the call, but he is definitely on the run. Going to get slowed down now. Koikva catches him out with a Yules. Uh-oh, whoops. self Yules, maybe trying to dodge? I don't know, but they do get the axe. There's the Skyrath Mage dishing out that big mystic flare of an ultimate. And that will put him off from that Blink Dagger Radiant's even longer. Tower is under attack. Nicely done. I'm not sure if, if that was a next level self heals to avoid the call or if he accidentally did it on himself. But okay, Ogre. Dyer's yeah, that's not where you want to be. Attack. He gets scouted out. He gets taken down now. And that is a double kill for Koikva. A bit of a freebie on that front. And Team Tinker are like, we'll take it. And now we'll take this tier one tower. Uh-oh. Get the hell out of there, Rubik. He's got to go. Get the Yules. Got him. And now with that, troubles are coming. They got the Silence, and they don't really need much else. Killing spree, pretty much a triple kill now for Koikva in this bottom lane. After just being taken down the mid lane, he quickly gets three together. And if he wants to get that Blink Dagger, he's got it. Well below. Ooh, they try to make it go on to black, but he quickly jumps out. Oh, and they're going to go ahead and walk back over. They have a way to detect way too if he does walk out. But it's not going to be there, so immediately he buys that Blink Dagger. Attack. Jump in, though. Requiem with a BKB. They're looking to burst Radiant's down the Viper, the beefiest one on their team, and he does go down. Mech is not going to be enough to help him out, and they will get relaxed. Luckily for him, he had already bought that Blink Dagger. But by this point, is it going to be too late? Now, they do scout out way too. They get that pesky freaking tree down, and it's a double kill for Pylai Die as they do annihilate the Rubik. Now they're heading out. Team Tinker looked to clean house. And it's Storm Spirit who unfortunately will have to suicide to make it away. So make it four all day at the expense of only way two in his tree. Team Tinker just it's like attack. a butterfly is even going to be necessary. Uh-oh, Spartan gets caught with a stun. Now the right clicks start coming in. Overgrowth is there. Plus the Skyrath ult, and that is a dead axe. Koikva. Dishing out the Requiem. Now they want the Viper, and he will go down. It's a quick triple kill for Koikva on his Shadow Fiend. And with that, they will just segue down to this bottom lane and clean out a Tier 2. What could happen? 20k of a net worth advantage. Here comes Storm. It's a little early to go for the steal. Now he bumps back. He's going for way too here, but he just gets annihilated. Aegis on the ground. No one's looking to grab it quite yet. Meanwhile, Koikva looking to clean house. Jumps in. Requiem going to fly on out. Cleans up the Rubik, snipes him down. And the Viper's going to be done thereafter. They take out four. Axe is going to immediately buy back. And now they're like, okay, you know, who wants to get the Aegis? Do you want to get it? Okay, Koifa, get it. Koifa. Not a whole lot they can do to stop him. Koifa takes one Rax, Black works on the other. And there's going to be your first Rax takedown. And here's Kaiser. He's like, I'll get something. I'll try to. Yules from Bulba helps him for now. There's the BKB going to be popped, and he has to get the hell back into the base. Meanwhile, Koifa. Goes under the axe, now puts his sights onto the Viper. Viper is just going to get taken down. Vendetta strike from Bulba there. Blink's going to be taken away. And is under attack. It's just used as an escape. But Team Tinker just go from one to the next now as they move on to this bottom attack. set of racks. This is probably going to be the beginning of the end here for the Greek kids. 
Long jump in, trying to go for Pylai Die. Meanwhile, Rubik could be in trouble here. Should be in trouble, able to get the Skyrath Mage, but there's going to be the Overgrowth. Quick Suicide comes out from your Storm. He's going to be out 45 seconds. Does have a buyback, but probably need to use it. There he is, going to use it. Relax. Will go down. Black now unstoppable. And we'll see. Where's Kaiser going to jump at? We'll, we'll lock Radiant's it onto him. No, he's not going to make anything happen. Meanwhile, Spartan is going to get caught out here. And he will go down. So double kill for Black. Rax is down mid and bottom. These are the last moments here for your London Conspiracy group. And they're not looking to tap out early. They're just going to fight it out all the way to the end. Radiant's and Koifo with his victory fallen. requiem. And that's going to be it. So they are going to call it. London Conspiracy are going to be eliminated here from Star Ladder Season 12. They made a hell of a run through the group stages, pulled out some upsets to get here to the LAN, but unfortunately it's just too much. They leave things in, going against Vici Gaming, who take them down 2-0. And then they have another tough task, taking on Team Tinker in the lower bracket. And Tinker, well, you see it there, man. No respect almost as they just kind of wipe the floor with London Conspiracy, so props to them, but their journey does end. For Team Tinker, though, they get to move on forward here in their lower bracket. Their star ladder journey continues.